So, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Oleksiy Mohun. I am a student of the National Technical University of Ukraine, Ihosikoski Kyiv Polytechnic Institute. And the topic of my report uh, is the development of a finite element model for optimization, the bone fixator design. In the case of gunshot injuries to bones, the primary method of surgical treatment is osteosynthesis with the help of an external fixation device or an x fix device. The advantages of fixation with this device are ease of wound care, patient mobility, reduction of hospital stay, and uh, relative ease of installation, which is why x fix device is also used in field surgery. In Ukraine, it has become significantly uh, widely used uh, due to a significant number of wounded people who need to quickly immobilize a broken bone for transportation to medical care facilities. But in an x fix device, according to the scheme, used for simple non catch and bone fractures is unacceptable since the roads located near the fracture site will enter the bone tissue, which has changed in biomechanical characteristics, which are caused by the formation of the zone of shock wave osteoporosis and linearly decrease with increasing distance from the defect. Therefore, alternative location of roads were proposed. Four options for placing the roads of the researched model were considered. A standard location, in other words, the internal roads are located at a distance of 40 millimeters from the fracture zone, a scheme with remote inner roads, a scheme with inner roads located at an angle of 75 degrees to the axis of the bone, and a scheme with inner roads located at an angle 60 degrees to the axis of the bone. Conducting experiments to determine the stiffness of systems is difficult and time consuming. Therefore, modeling of the deformation processes of the tibia external fixation device systems with various options for the placement of the roads was carried out using modern computer tools using CAD CAE methods to access the stress strain state of the biomechanical system. Therefore, our object of research is the system tibia XX device. System modeling was carried out in the SOLIDWORKS software package. Since our goal is to simplify calculations as much as possible in the first approximation, we considered two setups of the system, so tibia and roots. The tibia system is a solid 3D model of the real bone XFIX device system using a bone model. The roads model is also a solid 3D model, but with the use of metal roads instead of bone since creating a bone model is a quite time-consuming process. Let's proceed to the numerical simulation of the stress strain state of the bone x fix device system by the finite element method. For this, the ANSYS workbench software complex was used. At the stage of pre-processing, we have to perform several actions. At first, we'll consider the TBS system with four options for the placement of roads in compression. Firstly, we import our models into the ANSYS workbench software environment. Secondly, we set the properties of the materials. In our case, it's a medical steel and cortical bone. Uh, thirdly, we create a finite element mesh. That is, we divide our object in a certain number of elements forming a discrete model for which we set boundary conditions. After discretization, we have models consisting of solid 186 and solid 187 elements. After that, we set the boundary conditions for our discrete models. Therefore, for all types of load, we apply a force of 10 newtons, fixed support, and in the case of torsion, a remote displacement. Since we're interested in the displacement of points of the system, in solution section, we choose total deformation, which will show the displacement of nodes of the discrete model. After that, we start the calculation. After calculations, we receive the desired results of the displ displacements. We carry out the similar actions for systems in bending in the plane of placement of the roads. For systems in bending perpendicular to the plane of placement of the roads. And for systems in torsion. From the obtained displacement results, we find the stiffness of the system by dividing the applied force by the largest displacement. Next, we compare the stiffness of the systems. 
After analyzing the results, we can conclude that the location of the internal roads at an angle to the axis of the bone, namely at an angle of 60 degrees, makes our system bone expex device more stiff, and therefore the displacement of parts of the broken bone relative to each other under loads will be smaller, which will speed up the patient's recovery period. Let's move on to the second part of the problem, namely the comparison of the system with the real bone model and the simplified model with roads. For the road system, we perform similar actions, namely setting the material properties, creating a finite element mesh, setting boundary conditions, and performing calculations. As in simple, consider the deformation of systems during compression. So here and here. After receiving the calculation results, we compare the stiffness of the systems. From this, we can conclude that for approximate calculations, it is possible to use a simplified model with roads, since the error of the results doesn't exceed 10%, while the number of nodes in the discrete models are, in the tibia model, uh, 1,400,000, and in the roads model, approximately 300,000. So thank you for attention and I will be happy to answer your questions.